Huntsville Ham Fest is coming up in just a couple weeks and it's time to start thinking about Meshtastic. I'm going to be car camping in my Ford Explorer in the primitive campgrounds and I'm going to be out there for a week. I'm going to be totally off grid other than the solar and batteries that I bring with me. But I've got to bring Meshtastic, right? That's where this guy comes into play. This is the Spec 5 Beacon XL Plus, a solar powered Meshtastic node. We're going to talk about it this time on Ham Radio Tube. So what is the Spec 5 Beacon XL Plus? Well, this is designed to be kind of your home base node when you're out camping or you're setting up MCOM, whatever, you know, you're away from home. Because this has a solar panel, uh, the panel is really designed to extend the life of the two 18650 batteries that are inside. This features a rack uh, meshtastic unit inside that just absolutely sips power. So in my tests, I've, I've tried to see how long these batteries last and it's always outlasted me because I could never get back to it before uh, it died. But basically, um, I think Spec 5 is very conservative with their um, estimates of how long the battery life is because it lasts about a week. And that's sitting inside on my desk just doing a battery test. It's on, it's beaconing, it's doing the thing. But when you have it outside, and you have it in the sun, it also charges. Uh, when I first put this out here, the battery was at 5%. I didn't take this screenshot until it was at 6% at 11.58, but uh, now, an hour later, it's at 10%, and it's turned on. So it's not only charging, it's actually on and doing the thing. At night, it doesn't matter if the sun's not out, because this thing just sips power. Same thing with, I have a Spec 5 solar node on my antenna mast here at the house. I've never seen the battery below 88%, even in the morning, right when the sun comes out. They just are incredibly power efficient. So these two tiny little solar panels are more than enough to power this. Another cool thing about this, when I first got this, and I've had this for months now, uh, I was sitting on my front porch and it was in the shade. This panel, was shaded. I had the node off. There's a switch right here, an on off switch. And just with the little bit of light that was coming in in the shade was enough for this solar panel to turn the node on. So you don't even need to have any capacity in the battery for this thing to work. That's freaking amazing. Look at this. This is in the shade. The power switch is flipped up. It's off. And you can see, it's kind of flickering in the camera there, just the solar panels alone are powering this. It's awesome. It's a 3D printed case, and Spec5 does just awesome work with their 3D printing. It's just a really, really, really nice print. It's printed with PETG. It's 95 degrees out right now. I've had this thing out in the sun for days, and uh, it, it hasn't melted, so... <laughs> And when I say days, when I first got this, I just left it out here. Um, it, it doesn't melt in the Texas heat, so that's very important. So like I mentioned, we've got two 18650s inside. The difference between the Beacon XL Plus and the Beacon XL, this one has the two solar panels, so we get a bit more charging current in there. We've got a button on the side that's gonna allow us, I know you probably can't see it on, on the screen here, but it's gonna allow us to cycle through the different screens and see what nodes and, and things are out there. We've got a little hook here to attach a carabiner or something. If you wanna put this on a backpack or hoist it up a mast or something, uh, you can do that too. But it's really designed, it comes with this little antenna here. It's just kind of designed to sit on the ground or on a table, or I probably will just set it on the roof of my car when I'm camping at Montesano, face it somewhat towards the sun and it's going to charge. Now, it also has a USB-C on the bottom if you want to charge it that way. You do need to keep the uh, power switch on when you're charging it, but other than that, it just works. This also has built-in GPS, so you're going to be able to beacon your location. You don't need to use your cell phone's GPS. It's all in one. I have it in client mute right now because I don't really think it's necessary to have everyone retransmit their uh, 
their uh, messages. I might change that to client when I get out to Montesano, but uh, this is just gonna be my camp and radio. Because the battery on this lasts so long, even if I don't see sun for the entire week that I'm gonna be at Montesano, this is still gonna be on. And I have to manage my power because I'm gonna be totally off grid. So yes, I could plug that in, but I'm really gonna be relying on the sun to get this, uh, to keep this fully powered or at least somewhat powered for the whole trip there. So that is my little spiel on this. You've also got um, an SMA here, so we can change out this antenna. This is the stock one that comes with it. I'm probably, I don't know yet. I'm probably gonna rock this bigger antenna that I got, this, this other 915 megahertz antenna, just to get a little bit more gain. Same thing, you can set it up there, angle the antenna and uh, mesh-tastic away. So uh, I think these are about 190 bucks on the Spec5 website. I'll leave a link in the description. It's not an affiliate or anything. Uh, they did send this to me free of charge to, to take a look at and review. And uh, given the performance of the solar node on my uh, mast antenna mast here at home, I am really geeked to uh, be using this at Montesano. So uh, that's all I got. My name is Mike, K8MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio 2. We'll see you next time, 73.